dynamic filters are used in data security to calculate values that uh, is being used in filters. It is uh, easy to add additional things to these calculations and all you do is uh, you can either modify a code unit that we deliver or uh, you can copy that code unit uh, to a range that the customer have license for. We always recommend don't modify any of the normal easy security objects but this code unit uh, 14 million 123 uh, 814 uh, is intended to actually be uh, modified. It is not part of the normal objects we ship and it's actually only imported the first time you install the solution. Dynamic filters uh, can be found uh, inside um, the setup part um, in the easy security company in here. You'll be able to see there's a whole list of them in here that uh, is being added by default in here. If I want to add an additional one uh, I can go in uh, and change that code unit that is provided in here. So uh, I'll connect to my database and uh, I have this code unit uh, dynamic filter customized. I would need uh, a license that uh, allow changes to the code so I'll switch to a partner license in here. This code unit has uh, an example um, of what actually would be needed. There is a function that automatically inserts all the new uh, dynamic filters and then there's a code of course uh, to be able to calculate it. So if I just want to enable the sample code in here, I'll go ahead and uh, delete these uh, comments in here. And uh, then I actually going to save this as a different code unit in here. I now created the code unit and as I go back uh, to the list of dynamic filters I have a function here to insert filters based on a code unit in here. And I can go uh, find my new code unit 50,000, my dynamic filters and I will go ahead and select that one in here. And um, with 2017 there is an issue in here, so I'm actually going to, after running this function, I would actually uh, commit um, the insert of these new records in here. So I'll go ahead and save that again, and then try the function one more time in here. So I now got my new function myTime and out here it actually tells me that uh, it has to call code unit 50,000 to actually get to that value. If I wanted to add um, some code that actually would allow me some location filtering, I could have um, in here that I needed to add that, but it would be based on a field, for example, in the user setup. So in my user setup, I would add a new field and I will allow multiple values in here and um, just to be able to allow people to look up of course I would uh, go ahead and have relations to the location table but I want to be able to type anything in here. Um, and uh, in that way, just have people being able to see it. So I added a new field in here, and I now want to do a dynamic filter that allow me to see that one in here. So if I go back to my code unit, to find the code to do something like that one, we actually have a code unit where all the dynamic filters we have are included in here. And several of those ones are actually based on using the user setup in here. So instead of writing all the code, I'm going to uh, copy this uh, part of the code in here. I'll go to my customized code unit, the 50,000 I just created. 
and I will go in here and add uh, the code to calculate that. And of course, I can't use uh, the same, so I'm going to call this one uh, location in here. Or location filter. And instead of returning uh, the value um, that uh, the code used to be, I'm going to just find my user setup. That happens to be here in a variable already. And that's my location filter. And I will actually go add this location filter in here. And the default behavior is it actually returns a blank filter if um, nothing is uh, in the record or if uh, there is no record at all for the certain user. The last thing I have to do here is, uh, of course, to add the code that will insert the dynamic calculation also. And it's very important here that you actually use uh, the same uh, code here, of course, because else it won't be calculating properly. And I can give it a description out here. So I now made the modifications, added the code necessary up here to calculate and return the value and also to insert it on here. And as I now added the code, I can use the same function one more time. Find my code unit uh, 50,000. And it now added my new location filter from the user setup. And it will now also tell that one. So basically, it's very simple to extend with additional dynamic filters based on uh, custom fields that has been added like I just did for the user setup in here. So the code unit is provided as an example. You can change it. Um, I would recommend you don't change the normal code unit, the one called 806 where I copied the code from. This one will work as well as the other one did. So always at least modify this code unit instead of the normal one we have in the code.